Now, from the makers of Coldwater Omo, a small black closed van turned up the driveway of a country house. It stopped at the front door. The back doors of the van were opened, and Mrs. Peel got out, blinking at the light. Colonel Mannering led her up the steps and into the reception room. At the desk, a man in army sergeant's uniform said, Good afternoon, miss. Good afternoon. Identification, please. Mrs. Peel produced the necessary papers. Thank you. Sign here, please, Mrs. Peel. As Mrs. Peel was signing the register, a door opened and a young man staggered out. He looked very disheveled and worn out, eyes bloodshot and clothes torn. Emma. Emma Peel. I didn't know you were coming here. Remember me, Paul Mullard. We were in training together. Why, yes. Yes, of course. How are you, Paul? I'm doing okay, I think. See you in the bar later. Look forward to that. Come on, you. We haven't found you yet. Come here. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Episode 6 of this story, in which John Steed gets on the beam at last, and Emma Peel has her first experience in... A Case of Interrogation. Charles Minow was more than a little confused. He'd returned to Mother's headquarters in all innocence to find Mother in a black mood. Three men had died and it was clear that their deaths were a direct result of a leakage of information from the T.O.H.E. refresher course A7 that Minnow had just taken at Centre 53. But Minnow couldn't tell Mother and John Steed where Centre 53 was. He'd been taken there in a small, black, closed van and subjected to the toughening-up treatment in strict secrecy. And now, without anyone else being aware of it, Mrs. Peel was about to undergo a similar experience. This is the key to your room, Mrs. Peel. I trust you enjoy your stay. Thank you. I think perhaps enjoy is the wrong word, isn't it, Colonel Mannering? Uh, we can at least start off pleasantly, Mrs. Peel. Uh, let's have a drink in the bar, shall we? Mannering placed a hand under Mrs. Peel's elbow and guided her towards a door. Inside, the bar was filled with officers of all ranks. I think you will enjoy it in here. Once you're settled in, we've got a jolly fine bunch here. Fine, spirit of comradeship. And we try to make everyone stay as comfortable as possible. They appear jolly enough. Plenty of recreation, too. Sports, that kind of thing. I'm particularly concerned about the men's well-being. Afternoon, Johnson. Afternoon, sir. Johnson, an RAF man, grinned with a split lip and adjusted a piece of sticking plaster that covered a bruise on his forehead. Uh, gentlemen... Uh, may I introduce Mrs. Emma Peel? Uh, this is the spy sacrosanct. It's the only place in the whole building where you can relax, uh, where you can switch off. But um, let me remind you, the course has begun. You may be taken from here and interrogated at any time. Any time at all. <laughs> In Mother's headquarters, the bewildered Minnow goes over it all again. So, Minnow, the course was to test your breaking point, your reliance as an agent. Well, that's what Colonel Mannering said. He had papers to prove it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mother? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The course was A7 under the direction of Colonel Mannering. Yes, Mother, that's it. It doesn't exist. But, but surely... No course A7 and no Colonel Mannering. It's clever. 
You have to admit it's clever. Turning our own secret bureaucracy into a weapon. That's right. Tied us up with our own red tape. And it's so simple. Persuade our agents the course is genuine, get their full cooperation, and then interrogate them for as long as they like. Until they talk. But that isn't true. It isn't. I got a class one pass mark. They interrogated me for hours, but I didn't talk. I didn't tell them a darn thing. I swear I didn't talk. You didn't? Well, then how the devil do they work it? How? Like this. Name, my lord. Give me the name. No. Yes, my lord. Yes. I want this name. Give me the name, my lord. The name. The name. The name. No. 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 Very good, my lord. Jolly good show. First class. You, you mean that, that that's it? We haven't been able to break you. I don't think we ever could. You mean it's, it's really over? All over. Except the congratulations. You've passed class one. Oh, oh thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Come along, I'll buy you a drink. Two or three, if you like. I expect you feel you deserve one. And so, to the bar. How about another, sir? Not just at the moment. I've had three straights already. You know, sir, I thought you were kidding me about the class one pass, I mean. Have I really got one? Take my word for it. Mind you, it was touch and go at one point. Uh, mind telling me why, sir? Well, uh, well, I suppose it can't do any harm now that the whole thing's over. It was um, when we were questioning you about your contact in Hong Kong. I thought we had you a couple of times there, but you held out. Kept denying you had such a contact. Ah, that's good. Uh, sit again, please, Barker. Uh, yes, sir. Mind you, the fact that you don't have a contact in Hong Kong must have helped. <laughs> oh, but I do, sir. No. Afraid, sir? Well, you really did well then, didn't you? I didn't suspect you for one moment. You fooled us completely. Your drinks, gentlemen. Ah, thank you. Cheers. Mm. Yes, you covered the whole thing brilliantly. Who is he, by the way? Someone I know? Oh, I doubt it, sir. Name's George Criddle. What? Oh, Georgie? Then you know him. Well, he's a chap I'm thinking of. Oh, tall chap, glasses, fair, moustache. That's him. George Criddle, tall, glasses, fair, moustache. Well, just imagine that. <laughs> Say, it'd be great to get in touch with him after all this time. Um, where can I reach him? Well, I usually contact him at the Fu Young Bar. George Crittle, the Fu Young Bar, Hong Kong. <laughs> Must remember that, my lord. Cheers. Back at Mother's, Nino is still thinking it out. I, I can't see how they could have worked it, Mother. Hypnosis, perhaps. No, 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 no. I'd know. I, I'm sure I'd know. You were drugged. They got you under drugs? No, they didn't. They must have tricked the information out of you in some way. But that's impossible. Look, from the moment I went into that place, I was on guard. The whole time they were at me, I was watching every point. I, I didn't relax for one moment. I uh, never told any. I... Yes? Oh. The bar. The bar. In the bar after it was all over. That's how it must have happened. In the bar, the one place where we were allowed to relax, to lower defences... Swap confidences. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Mother. Sorrow is a negative after the event emotion, Minnow. What we want now is positive thought. Attack. What do you suggest, Mother? I... Uh, well, I... I, I, I uh, <coughs> Mother? Norton here, Mother. Forensics. Uh, yes, Norton, what is it? I'm at Spiel's apartment. I called to give her my findings on the Casper and Minnow cases, sir. Which are? Negative, sir. Only forensics will make a special trip to tell you that they haven't found anything. Get to the point, Norton. Or better still, let me speak to Mrs. Peel. That's the whole point, sir. She isn't here. What? And I found another of those cigarette stubs. The one with the gold filter. They have Turkish and... Yes, 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 yes. We don't want to hear about that filthy concoction. I can guess the rest. Some clothes are missing. That's right, sir. And don't and... tell me. And her toothbrush. That's all we need. Mother slammed the receiver back into its cradle and glared at Minot. Mrs. Peel is taking a refresher course. 
Where is that Center 53? You've got to remember, Miro. Well, I, I can't. I, I just can't. I don't know. Don't you understand? They've taken him appeal. She's different to you and Casper. She's brighter, sharper, more intelligent. Now, they may fool her for a while. Their plan's clever enough to fool anyone for a while. But sooner or later, she's going to realize what's going on. And then, she won't last five seconds. You were taken to a country house? Yes. A large house? Yes. Old or new? Uh, old. How old? Uh, Fifty years. A uh, hundred. Think, I Minnow, think. There must be something. Now, just a minute. Now, you thought we were tricking you with Black is Death. You thought it was a test to make sure you wouldn't reveal the details of the course A7. Now, what if it all went wrong? What if you'd found yourself on trial for treason? What then? Then I'd contact Colonel Mannering and he'd clear me. He... Of course! I have a pigeon, a homing pigeon. Well, I can release it. It goes straight to... to Center 53. Oh, come on, get that pigeon and we may get Mrs. Peel and Colonel Mannering. Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Brought to you by the makers of Cold Water Omen. The Avengers. Donald Monat as John Steed and Diane Appleby as Emma Peel is adapted and directed by Dennis Falbig and produced by David Gooden. <laughs>